All right, from a glimpse into the future to a blast from the past. You know, today ABC 7 was given a sneak peek inside the Smithsonian's new dinosaur exhibit. Kai Jackson is at our live desk now to share it with us. Hi, Kai. Hey, Allison. It's pretty exciting. Dinosaurs roamed the Earth millions of years ago. So it's pretty impressive. Something that old is still so popular. They're big and spectacular. The T-Rex and Triceratops are among the most popular dinosaurs that have been studied. Now visitors to the Smithsonian Institution's National Museum of Natural History can see the fossils of the giants in person in a new exhibit called The Last American Dinosaurs, Discovering a Lost World. We're looking at one place in time, one period of time, 66 million years ago, before the asteroid hit and spelled the, the doom of the dinosaurs. Make no mistake, the dinosaurs are the rock stars of the exhibit. But the Smithsonian wants visitors to see them as one small part of a larger ecosystem. So Triceratops, for instance, would have eaten a huge amount of vegetation every day. Triceratops probably traveled in large herds, so they really would have a profound impact on the environment. And the Smithsonian believes this exhibit won't disappoint. Paleontologists say these dinosaurs roamed what is now Montana and Wyoming in the United States. But there are other important elements of that environment on display that help sustain life. We have lots of fossil leaves. We have fossil two fossil turtle shells. We have fossil lizards. So these are the pieces of evidence for recreating this environment. The Last American Dinosaurs Discovering a Lost World opens this Tuesday, November 25th. You know, guys, we always talk about how much kids like dinosaurs. Well, some adults like them, too. Uh, <laughs> we know. It was adults standing in line at Jurassic Park, too, now. Exactly. <laughs>